Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your late again host, Anon Jr., and... <clears throat> sorry. Behind me, we see that the industrial side of my island is starting to grow. We got the cactus farm that we built last... Yeah, that was last week, wasn't it? No. Earlier than that? I don't know. We, we got the cactus farm that is doing... Uh, quite nicely thank you very much the sugarcane farm isn't doing that bad either and that's after that that is after expanding it a little bit um as soon as i get things together a little bit better here so we've got 9 18 and then again on the other side <coughs> eventually i'll i'll redo this clock so that way it's a little bit better either tying an observer to each plant on the corner and that'll be the indicator plant or setting it up on, with a uh, daylight sensor or or just setting up something with a lot more delay between <laughs> presses but uh, I gotta I gotta go back to some of the videos on how to build different clocks and see what I can do that is better for delay um, <clears throat> Technically, a hopper clock would be best, but this being Skyblock, we have a limited number of hoppers. So, I don't know. Like, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to use too little. Um, sorry, I knew I had some more somewhere. Okay, um, slime farm still going good. Honestly, I still haven't used it since, like, what, a few weeks ago. Because it is grossly overproductive and wonderful for it. And then this past Friday, I worked on this guy. This lovely little mob dropper. I, I got a switch here that lets it go AFK mode where everybody ostensibly falls down that hole. Although, <laughs> I was working on, uh, I don't have the video handy. Um. <clears throat> I was working on uploading the video after building this, so I stood here AFK, and I find a half dozen creepers standing on that ledge along with a baby zombie. So, what I may have to do is see if one block is a big enough gap to keep the spiders from crawling all the way back up. And, and then the ledge will be too tall for anything that's not a spider or a baby zombie. I may also go back to my redstone testing and see if a ring of upside down stairs and right side upstairs is enough. Because I, I basically I got to figure out how big a gap it takes for spiders to not be able to scale the gap. I know there's got to be some sort of a lip because they can only work vertically. Any horizontal movement required is too little. Hey, thank you for the follow. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I just wolfed down dinner way too quick. And uh, yeah, running late again. So that part works okay. I'm going to have to rework this chamber here. Although honestly, once uh, now, now that I've got everything needed to complete the challenge that gives us access to the nether... I'm probably going to tear this entire thing down and rebuild it. Because spiders keep getting caught up in the corners of this. I, I put some glass panes on the inside. Uh, thinking... Oh, hang on. I'll move that out of the way. I, I, yeah, I put these glass panes thinking that it would keep the spiders low enough that the water would be able to push them off the edge. Uh, I was wrong. So spiders keep getting stuck up under the under the ledge, or or they they hit the glass on the far end there, and climb up it and get stuck in the corners, and generally create a massive mess. So I will use a design I really wanted to use, but I didn't have the nether quartz to make the observers. Ah, uh, here comes Exponent Frog. Let me unmute Discord now, and. Uh, Thank you for the raid, Medic. You are welcome. Um, so, as soon as I get what I need from the nether, 
I will probably tear this all down and... Ooh, thank you, Beast Lord. That is amazing. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sorry. Anonjunior.exe has stopped operating. Please restart. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that, that's good enough to get me going for now. I didn't get a chance between Friday and today to do any more uh, work on this. What I need to figure out now is where... Now that I finally got the challenge... Let's uh, go to the challenges real quick. So I was finally able to finish the Monster Farm challenge, which got me a flint. Uh, combined with the iron that I already had, I could make the flint and steel. Combined with the obsidian that I got from one of the earlier challenges, that means I can make another portal. I can't do the another portal challenge until I do homeowner, though. Uh, and honestly, I need to find which one it is that gives you a blaze rod. I think that is the, the nether portal challenge. <laughs> so I probably need to do this homeowner one. And that means I need a red bed. Hang on. I think I already got a fair amount of this already. Uh, let me pick up the bed that I, I so laboriously worked on. And... I thought there was something in there. I thought there was something in there. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Short-term memory, something or other. Can't remember what it's called. Ooh. I smell coffee finishing. That might help. Coffee always helps. Almost always. Alright. So I got a red bed. Check crafting table. Check glass. Check. I need an oak door, a furnace, a bookshelf, and a torch. Alright, so an oak door, a furnace, a bookshelf, and a torch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I hear you on that one. I got the torch. Oak door, oak door. I, I think we're a little far away to send you some coffee, though. Um, yeah, I'll take two of those with me and leave the last one there. I don't like the oak doors, but eh. uh, you, you'll see what I'm getting at in just a minute. Uh, I need a furnace and a bookshelf. A furnace and a oh, I, I got a bunch of cobble on me already. Uh, so we got furnace, Ooh, bookshelf. That's going to be the fun one. Uh, somewhere, somewhere, I put the leather that I had picked up from other challenges. I do not see any leather in this box. Is it in this box? No. Uh, I don't, I don't know what other, I don't know what other, ah, fine. Uh, <clears throat> Fortunately for us, we've got a resource pack that allows us to cook rotten flesh into leather. So uh, we'll let that cook while I then go to... Oh, I need paper. That. <laughs> that I've got plenty of. Just out of curiosity. No, no, okay. Hello, beach duck. How are you doing today? Just out of curiosity. That's the ADD is kicking in. Uh, oof. You are a sad, sad stem of a pumpkin. Or I'm losing more pumpkin than I realize. Probably that latter one. Ah, I need observers to make the kind of farm I... Re oh! Hello. Uh, maybe it's time to get that chicken cooker going soon, too. <laughs> do, do I have... Oh, I got plenty of melons. Okay. It's just the pumpkin farm that's underperforming. Sad. Alright, I need enough paper for three books. So I'll just make too much and not worry about it. Um, 
going to get kind of used to this warping thing. It's going to be really weird when we go back to vanilla Minecraft and you can't, you know, instantly teleport yourself back home. No. Just me. No, it will be. Maybe. Maybe. I'm stuffing my face with dinner, so oh. I don't really know. I try. <laughs> I I know that one. Don't. My my brain's kind of shut off at the moment. Give me a second. Uh, you know what needs to be on my agenda for a very, very quickly upcoming. I I need I need storage. I need organized storage. All right. So. Since I need to build a little shelter on the nether side anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put all the homeowner stuff there. Although I'm not leaving the bed there. Uh, I, I'll put everything else there just for kicks. Um, what, and that way I can unlock the nether portal challenge and start working on that. Uh, what I need to figure out though is where do I want to put my portal to the nether? The island, uh, trying to figure out even where do I begin. The island you start off with is in the same position in the overworld, such that if you put the portal there in the nether, or, or if you put the portal on your island where your original island starts on the overworld, it will link up with the location in the nether. I don't think that made any more sense. Um, my poor tired brain. This is what I get for trying to shift gears without a clutch. Um, there is a mapping between your coordinate in the overworld and your coordinate in the nether. Each block in the nether you move is the equivalent of eight blocks in the overworld. Uh, the server does some math where it takes your coordinates in the overworld, divides it by eight, and there's your coordinates in the nether. Uh, not counting elevation. So, the skyblock server that we're using is set up such that if you were to put the portal anywhere on this island here, you should be close enough to link up to the portal it already set up for you in the nether. Uh, if you, say, set your portal way down at the bottom of your island, it means that you'll link up somewhere else in the nether, not where, not where your island is, and you'll have to very precariously make your way over to, or, to your newfound island. And I'm trying to decide, do I, do I want to do that? Or do I want to put it up here? I'm tempted to do, to do something a little more like that, mostly because uh, I want to generate an extra portal so I can farm it for the, uh, <laughs> farm it for the obsidian. Um, although I don't think I'm going to be able to get the, uh, farm up the obsidian with a, uh, stone pick. I just need two for the enchanting table. I need to start earning some more. Well, actually I don't really need the diamonds. The diamonds would be nice, but uh... Thank you Beast Lord. Hey, if you're on when I get finished, I will... I will send people your way. Have fun. Alright, so I'll take that very precious, precious pick with me. Because, uh, you know, I keep thinking that when, once I get the blaze rod, I'll be able to make a brewing stand, which will allow me to uh, clear out the... Or, or cure a villager, and then I can get a villager going, and then once I get a toolsmith, and an armorsmith, and a weaponsmith, I'll be able to buy diamond whatever I need, and then work with it from there, even if it's just to disenchant it and re-enchant it myself. 
So finding diamonds is not the priority it used to be. Unless I want to make a jukebox. Um, no, I don't want to make a jukebox. Well, oh no, I have to make a jukebox, don't I? If I want to complete the Maestro Challenge, I'm going to need a jukebox. Although I should get another diamond from some of these other challenges. Uh, five gold. One of the carpentry challenges gives you a jukebox. Oh. I guess it's one of the ones that I haven't... Uh, um, oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten to carpenter yet. Uh, requires lumberjack. Did I thought I completed lumberjack. Obviously not. Sawmill, lumberjack. Lumberjack, total times completed. Once. Carpenter, requires lumberjack. You're not at that level yet. That's why it's in white. It says requires white. It would say requires uh, in red if it weren't. Mm. I think. No. No? Okay. No. Maybe it's just because you haven't opened up that area yet. Yeah, except I got the pearl collector and the slime farmer and horsing around. Or maybe maybe I need to complete Lumberjack a second time? I don't know. I don't know. I uh, don't hmm. <laughs> Don't get me lying about these crazy, uh, crazy rules. Uh, unless there's another prereq that I kind of forgot about. Or is my island... Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'll get five more diamonds when I reach uh, Skylord, so... Alright, I'll be able to do it then, either way. Uh, hi, Pink Geek. How you doing? Um, I need to get gold going. Now that I have finally got a source of gunpowder, uh, I can use that to make some TNT and blow a hole in the nether roof. And, uh, I just gotta worry about getting enough, uh, magma cubes for a gold farm. I, I seem to recall somebody earlier was complaining about, uh, what to do with all that TNT they had. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, open up a hole in the nether roof. You can't. Yeah, you, you can't can. even break the block up there. Yeah, you can. You can get up on the roof. Mm mm. Mm. No, oh, it says it's outside of your uh, your island. The roof is. Actually, one block below the roof. Hmm. Yeah. I'll have to double check on that. As soon as I figure out where, where am I going to put this goofy thing? Uh, Next time I'm in the nether and I'm farming on stream, mm -hmm. look at where my, uh, well, I'll, uh, I, I, I know, I know from checking on other stuff that, uh, you definitely have a bunch of materials that you've generated above the nether roof. And I am more than modestly concerned that that is uh, eating into the nether mob cap because stuff is spawning up there where nobody can do anything about it. Yep. 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 <laughs> um, I came here for some... Oh, I was going to grab... Some of those, at least until I got glowstone. And I guess I'll just put this. Uh, now, nah, because I'm going to put a tree farm here, because that's one of the few areas that I got big and open that doesn't have a stupid slime chunk in it. Uh, maybe I'll tuck it in this corner for now, and then I'll I'll, I'll fix it up later. All right, I gotta be very careful because this is not set up to let you cheap out on the corners, sadly. Um. Uh. And there we 
go. And I didn't grab enough stairs. Of course I didn't. You know. Alright, let's finish this. I might even finish a thought. Maybe. Two, three... We'll put that guy there like so. That guy there like so. I know, I know. It, it's lit up. It should nothing should spawn there, but we've all seen plenty of cases where it should and actually don't necessarily match up. set this flint and steel here so it doesn't get lost in a very tragic accident. I set some pumpkin pies aside just in case a very tragic thing happens in the nether. Uh, eventually what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll put some gates or something here to keep the zombie pigmen from spawning. I've got that to keep me from going too far the other way. I have been forewarned that because not everybody's been the best at mob proofing. Uh, there will be some very unfortunately proximate friends. So I got a bow and a full stack of arrows. Uh, I've got a dangerously low sword that I should probably go ahead and make another. While I stall. Let's get another one there, just in case. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Into the nether. Into the nether and through the nether we go. Yay! Alright, so there's the obsidian, and that is probably my island right there. So, no, oh, first things first. Let's get some slabs and get in full clench mode while we play some slabs. Because <laughs> I have some very precious cargo. Uh, and that should be Rayest's Island that way. Unless I got this backwards. No, because that looks like it's Medics over there. So yeah, this should be mine. That should be Rast's. And Arcadius is off beyond the render distance. That's good. Nobody needs to be my... Uh, neighbor? My neighbor? Your nether neighbor? Nether. Uh, yep, no, I, I'm over at Rast's Island. So, uh, yep, because that's, that's the end of it right there. <laughs> okay. Well then. Uh, no, no phone booth. Well, there is a phone booth, but it's over on the other side. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Oh, good. Okay. For serious, though, I forgot how long it took to mine some of the stuff without, you know, fortune and haste and efficiency and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see I had to move my entire uh, quad nether? Uh... No, I didn't see that part. Yeah. That was like a good solid 20 minutes of the first part of my stream. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> oh, and, and uh, your assumption that putting the portal up on your island would work, mm -hmm. uh, or link to the to the spawn island there. I have a portal down here at y equals uh, half zero something I put a portal way down here and it links to the island 
where all my other portals put me on the ceiling. Like, just below the... Uh, I'm going to need visuals to help you on that one. <clears throat> Two okay. diamonds and a book. Means I get to make an enchanting table. Yay. I will set that up later. Uh, what I need to figure out is do I want... I think I want the enchanting set up and maybe the villager trading to be up here. Uh, on the island where I'm going to build all the pretty stuff. I mean, part of me wants to build the villager stuff down here where all the farms are. That way I've got all the storage right here where I want to do the trading. But um, the more I think about it, the more I want a little more life in the livable area. So even though it won't be as efficient, I think... No, I'm going to build a trading hall. I'm going to build a very efficient trading hall. <laughs> the pretty world will be pretty and desolate and empty. Okay. That island. That island. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's very precariously make our way Diagon Alley. <laughs> Alright, first things first, though. Um, there? No. There. I'm not wasting my diamond pick on that. I probably should put the diamond pick away. Just, I just want to mop roof the top of this real quick before something very bad and unfortunate happens. <laughs> you just mine our gold? Uh, yeah, that too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to say that's happened or nothing? No. Oh, no. I... <laughs> There's a reason I'm sitting at 12 deaths. That's, that's all I'm saying. Oh, it's it's not from. Oh, I need uh, I need I need some more lanterns. No, uh, contrary to popular belief, they weren't all due to creepers. Mm -hmm. Just 99.9% .9 of them. Uh huh. <laughs> all right. Uh. I'm just going to use uh, jack-o'-lanterns until I can get some more glowstone. Oh! Hi, friend. Y you're about to turn very unfortunate. Here. Uh, the piglins turn into zombified piglins when they're in the overworld. I, I decided to put him out of his misery before the unfortunate happened. And... Oh! Oh! And that definitely answers my question. The wiki was unclear, imagine that, as to if a light level higher than 11 would prevent stuff from spawning on the nether portal frame. Because piglins and zombified piglins will not, will not spawn in light levels above 11. And then in a little paragraph, a little bit further down, it mentions that... For serious, man. I just left there, not two seconds ago. <laughs> how, how, how am I not able to hit you? Because he's in the portal. Oh, well that's neat. A zombie pigment with a crossbow? Huh. Okay. You say neat, I say terrifying. But. <laughs> anyway, uh, the way the paragraph reads, it's unclear on if it's only in Bedrock Edition that spawning on another portal frame ignores light level, or if spawning on a portal frame ignores light level, period. Full stop. Um, 
clearly we have discovered that it ignores light level, period, full stop. Um, and I'm going to put my really nice pick away before something unfortunate happens. Uh, <clears throat> okay, back to the nether. Because one of the things I wanted to do either way was to... Oh, come on. Why are you making this so hard? Oh. Uh. What if I do it? Will you face the right way that way? Uh, let's be careful on that edge there. There we go. Okay. Fine. If that's the way it's got to be. Yeah, just to be sure. Actually, technically, I could take the corner out of this frame, too, and it shouldn't break. Nah, I'll do the obsidian harvesting later. First things first. To get to my island. Carefully. <laughs> Very super precariously. Uh, let's get a few stacks of slabs at the ready. At least I should be low enough that I'll get that bottom glowstone. Because mostly I wanted to make sure that when I when I started working, I had a clear catch. So that way I could start farming stuff and not have to worry about it all falling into the unfortunateness below. And at some point, I will make my way. <clears throat> I will make my way f down as low as you can build in the Nether, uh, with the objective of attempting to do it in fewer deaths than it took Medic to do it. Although, now that I think about it, who did die more? Trying to get to the bottom platform. Was it you, Arcadius, or was it Medic? Oh, I've never tried to get to the bottom. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's not true. Well, I I, I, I know you've gone to the bottom. I, I I've seen the message in chat. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have jumped off with nothing but a stack of cobble in my inventory, in an attempt to see if I couldn't swim the lava enough. Mm-hmm to make a column but just like with the roof of the nether you can't build all the way down at the lava level huh yeah you're kind of boxed in so you can't get to the roof of the nether and you can scoop a bucket down there but you can't actually put a block like I want to say it's one level above lava level interesting yeah so as much as you can jump down there and try and swim and you can easily go through the lava and put a block at the bottom if you were able to do so, uh, you can't. <laughs> hmm. So you're more than welcome to give it a try. I'll gladly sit back with some popcorn. <laughs> yeah, let me let me get one of these guys. Let me get enough gold that I can trade with one of these guys for some fire resistance <laughs> potions first. <laughs> And uh, then I might start giving stuff a try. I, I also need to look and see if a splash potion of water would uh, turn uh, lava into obsidian. I don't think it's enough, though. That would be neat, though. Um, yes, in this game you can swim, and ironically enough, you can swim in lava for just a little bit. Uh, it might be the one time Rayest is warm enough. <laughs> For a few minutes. <laughs> Two precious minutes. Yep. Hi, friend. I hear you guys up there. A whole bunch of you guys up there.
Yeah, I know. You, you're, you're not much better than her in that regard. You and Pink Geek. Hi, friends. Oh, thank you. I was trying to figure out where I was going to take a break, and it sure wasn't going to be while I was in the nether. AFK in the nether is a very, very dangerous proposition. Alright, let me uh, build a slightly bigger area around here first. Then, and knowing that, and then, I'll get the homeowner challenge in the nether just for the irony of it. And then I will, oh, I didn't want that. I wanted the slabs, not the blocks. Uh, either way, I know I wanted to, was it there? Yep, there. Okay. Either way, I know I wanted to create a little bit of a shelter around here too. Because I, <laughs> the last thing you want to do is come out of one of these portals and find a flock of ghast saying hello. Well, it does beg the question, is it a flock of ghast? What is, what is the collective noun for ghast? Is it a screech of ghast? A ghast of ghast? I'm a ghast. A fire. I'm pretty sure it's a gaggle. A gaggle? Well, it sure isn't a giggle. That's... <laughs> I mean, it could be called a giggle of ghasts, but... Mm -mm. <laughs> Ain't nothing giggly about ghasts. Sure. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I'm leaving Rayest's Island. For the moment. Did I go on this side? One, two, three away from the portal. Then we'll go one, two, three away from the portal. There'll be a door here. some room around the edge to work. And actually, what I'm going to do is that right there. So, I'll have a door heading out towards Reyes Island. forget. A window.
I might have put those up. Yeah, I just put those too, too low. Oh well. I don't have Silk Touch, so I'm not picking them back up yet. I'll fix that later. I'll explain why I'm putting the doors the way I am in just a minute. Let me finish uh, building this before unfortunate things happen. So I've got a building. I could make it taller, but why? Not why the last man, but why build the building taller? There, there is some question about whether or not why the last man will actually be any good. The first trailer dropped. They were talking about it on uh, Cord Killers. There was some uh, apprehension because... Uh, because of some of the modern issues that it delves into that were one thing when the graphic novel was first published but have become something entirely different. I am intentionally being vague because I'm trying not to get into the middle of all that. Just to, you know, throw that out there as a thing for anybody interested. Okay, there we go. Uh, I now have my encased little hovel, a protective area. Now, I turn the doors sideways because if you look at F3, according to the game, over in the right-hand corner there, you see targeted block, uh, and it's got some coordinates and says Minecraft, oak door, facing west, half upper, hinge left, open, false. So as far as the game is concerned, it thinks that that is is closed and when I do that it thinks that the door is open so when zombie pigmen and whatnot spawn and start walking over to my door if it is closed they will try to break it down if it is open they will try to walk through right now the game thinks that door is open so they're gonna try to walk through it's a solid door. They can't walk in. And then if it's open, then they're going to think it's closed. The only thing this precludes me from doing is using a button. But honestly, at that point, I'll replace those with iron doors. And then they can't break them down anyway. So, i got a couple of little portholes to see through. Yeah, I should have put those one block higher. And this door is the same way because I put it in backwards. So that is a neat little trick if you want to keep zombies and zombie pigmen and that sort of thing from breaking down your doors. You put them in sideways and <laughs> that is closed. They won't actually break it down because they'll be able to pathfind through to wherever they're going. And they won't be able to break it down because they think it's open. So they won't try. They'll just keep trying to walk through it. Let's widen this out just a smidge. And that's all bottom slabs, so nothing can spawn up there, nothing can spawn in there except on the portal frame, which is going to get kind of awkward at some point. And I need to look it up and see if the trick still works. There used to be a trick you could do that would allow you to do some funky stuff with armor stands. And, and use the ar Hi, friends. <laughs> how, how nice of all of you. And you just walk through that portal. Where did you go? Never mind. I'll find out soon enough. <laughs> um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. How tired am I that I already forgot what I was talking about? Never mind, don't answer that.
Yeah, I, I, I did have a sip of coffee. I'm about to have another one in a minute. I just, I, I really wanted to not... <laughs> I wanted to hurry up and get that spawn-proofed. So that gaggle of unfortunateness isn't the death of me while I take uh, my eyes away for half a second to sip coffee. Since I can I, I can afford to lose cobble. I cannot afford to lose any of that up there. Let me uh, make sure that this is well and good a couple blocks past the island. Because, uh, yeah. Did I bring enough cobble with me? Maybe not. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, that's one block out. We'll go one more. Can what topple? The the island? No. Uh, Minecraft physics is a little funny that way. Uh... It's not going to fall down because I knocked the support out from under it or anything like that. Uh, which is good in its way, as long as you know that that's the case and to expect it. Alright, uh, then one, two, three? Yeah, it, it is a little top-heavy. That, that's the that's the way that the person who created the Skyblock uh, mod that we're using, that's the way he wanted the island designed. Is that symmetrical? Does that just look... Oh, yeah, that just looks off because I haven't finished it in that direction. Okay. And like before, we're doing bottom slabs. So that way nothing spawns on here. I want to make sure that things only appear where I want them to appear and not anywhere else. Now, what's going to get very interesting? I'm out of slabs. I probably should have brought uh, more with me. Um... Uh, Oh, about half the reason why I cleared all that stuff out over there. All right, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll head back here. I need to park myself somewhere safe for two, two, two things. I need to head back this way because part of the joke was the challenge. Uh, I'll stash that up there. I'll stash... The furnace right there, because those are useful. I'll put the bookshelf there for now. I'll throw a torch there for kicks. I'll put the bed there. I will not try to sleep in the bed, because that will blow up the nether. <laughs> That'll blow up in the nether. And I'm going to go to my challenges. I'm going to go to homeowner. Everything should be within 10 blocks. Or 10 meters, sorry. Wait. Uh, build a house with, house with front. Oh, still fun. One torch? There's a torch right there. Dude. Although, I might be too far away from all of them. Alright, let's try it now. You must be standing within 10 blocks of the required items. One, two, three, four, five. I should be within plenty of blocks of all the required items. Or does it not like where I have my torch? Do, do I need to do that? Oh, 
There we go. Yay. Oh. We got the homeowner one. Um. A red bed, craft table, glass, oak door, furnace, bookshelf, torch. And you can do this multiple times? Like, I can do it right there? The homeowner challenge is not repeatable. Uh. Oh, oh. Can't. Okay. Okay. And, no. Another portal. Ten obsidian and another portal. All right, there we go. Another mining. This ga gets you a gas tier and a magic bow. Where's the one that gets me a blaze rod, though? Redstone ore. A gas tier and a magic bow, which is nice, but... Item reward, a wither skull and a blaze rod and a chance of diamonds. Okay, that's another fort. Holy mother of Netherbricks, Batman. Uh, hmm. Is there anything else that gives me a blaze rod? <laughs> Pearl collector, okay. Pearl collector, I need 10 ender pearls then. I also need to break this before something deeply unfortunate happens. And reset this. I'm not too worried about the bookshelf because I got plenty of all the resources necessary to build another one. All right. I'll keep the furnace there anyway, because that's going to come in handy. I may put something else there, and yeah, the weird placement of glass blocks is just weird until I get silk touch. Let me let me let me toss a few things into a safety box. Actually, let me grab the other items I needed here, like that and that. Uh, let me go put. Let me go put this back. Let me go warp back home. And put a few things away. Lest something very bad happen. Put the torch away, put the iron ore away. A redstone. Um, that box is full. That's where I was keeping my tools. So I guess I'll have to put that there and that there. Uh, I'll put the beetroot seeds there for now. Do I have ink sacks somewhere already? Yeah, I do. And I'll drop my iron tools right there for the moment. Okay. That's everything I don't want to lose. I guess I need to do something to get Endermen. Because Endermen aren't going to spawn in that farm. It, it's deliberately made to not spawn Endermen. Uh, Endermen do spawn in the Nether, though. I wonder if I can... Uh, hang on, before... That starts looking weird. Alright. I may have to make a platform over here that'll spawn some Endermen. But first, I need to do something about all this.
Nah, it's not getting me what I want. I, I just... That's the bottom. That's the bottom there. Okay, that, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. I should probably also consider finishing my thoughts. Such as they are. Okay. I just wanted to make a stair up to the top so I could start tearing this down from up there. And I'll build a proper stair. Oh. Hi. Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't get mad at me. Y you just fell. It was very, very unfortunate. Some of us were even sad about it. No, we weren't. Alright, let's get that up there. Let's get... Hi, guys. Let's get these squared away. Oh, yep, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. So sad you fell. Okay. Alright. That area is at least spawn-proof up there. I mean, I brought the buttons to use for this purpose, but... I kind of forgot about them in the heat of the moment. That's why we got that floor down there anyway. Hi, friend. Please don't eat my face. Alright, let me... Encase myself in a safe adjacent place. Okay. Where's my slide? Okay, there it is. So, I'm getting ready to tear this down. And to kind of reiterate what might happen with some of what's about to happen. Uh, the way you Skyblock Revive works. When you break a block in the nether. There is a percentage chance of another block automatically appearing. So you look, th this is the actual code in the configuration. Uh, so you look at netherrack. When you break a netherrack, there's a 30% chance for a netherrack, a 15% chance for a second, a 5% chance for nether quartz ore, a 5% chance for nether gold ore, 5% chance for soul sand, 5 for magma, etc., etc. And likewise, you see Nether Quartz Ore has percentages, Nether Gold Ore has percentages, and on and on and on down the line. So this means that unless I get exceptionally unfortunate in my luck, tearing down this island should net me more materials than what the island actually contains. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep most of these materials and then just set them down and break them again to get more. So, oh, of course it didn't. So, but I will do that in a different place where I don't have to worry about friends showing up to play. Uh, let me put out the fires. Shame on you guys for setting fires in the nether like that. Really. All right, so he... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's just mean. I really want some Crimson Nilium. Um, here's the problem. I don't have Silk Touch. I can't pick it up. Unless... I, I wonder, though, does... Since TNT usually break... Or drops the block, it breaks... Does, does TNT, oh, 
See, we got some quartz down there, which is one of the things that I really need a fair amount of when all is said and done. Um, although, I didn't realize that it terraforms that far away. That's a little more unfortunate. That means that stuff could end up appearing below the platform I'm on. I'm going to have to figure out what the distances are on that kind of stuff. I'm also going to need soul sand and soul soil. That soul soil means that I'll be able to make the um, soul campfires, which I definitely need to do because uh, that those burn hotter and they kill mobs faster, so I can put that in the mob farm. Uh, but now I'm wondering, if I if I blow that up with TNT, will it drop the Crimson Nihilium or the regular... Or, or sorry, the Warp Nihilium, or will it drop the regular Netherrack? Because if you break that with anything other than Silk Touch, as far as tooling goes, it will only drop the, the actual Netherrack. Yeah, guys, seriously. I'm not going to be stupid enough to kill you because then they all get mad at me and very, very sad and unfortunate things happen and Anon gets another number next to his name. Great googly moogly, Arcadius. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, like... We, we were all at zero when I set up the scoreboard because it doesn't count anything prior to setting up the cor the scoreboard. And then... Creepers happened. Oh. That's... That's unfortunate. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Oof. Oh, there's another the word I need. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Because, uh, yeah, I, I need the nether wart to make potions. And good, I'm going to get a little more sand out of this too. And some more glowstone. That's going to be a fun one. Although once I get a cleric, I can trade with the cleric for glowstone, so it'll be a little less of an immediate concern. Uh, on the other hand, it would be kind of nice to... There we go. And that's why I set up the island to uh, to catch stuff. Yeah, I, I figured mining out from the bottom is the better part of Valor. Because uh, all those guys up there, I'm going to hit one of them accidentally with a pickaxe. And then it's going to be a very, very sad, sad day for an un. Uh... <laughs> You'll get closer to my number. Yeah, that's not the objective. Oh. I thought it was the biggest number wins at the end of the season. <laughs> it depends on what number. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh my. What? Is, oh, and there's the warped. Ah, I need the warped as well. Same problem. I wonder if I go make some TNT real quick, if that will uh, drop the crimson or the warped. No. No? Have you tried that already? No, I just know the mechanics. Okay, for some reason I... I... No, it's... It drops the block that it blew up at its base root. So oh. if it blows up stone, it's going to give you cobblestone. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to need lots of those magma blocks, too. So if it blew up... Okay, so seat. there's nothing I can do with these two until I get a silk touch. I mean... Give you silk touch. No. You know. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get my own silk touch. In the meantime, <laughs> I'll go get some bone meal and see if I can't grow a couple of the mushrooms off of there before I harvest it. And yeah. I can put the stuff that I desperately do not want to lose away. <laughs> Matter of fact, 
let me go ahead and make some storage. I know, I just blocked up the window that I put there. Alright. Let's put our soul soil, our soul sand, our magma block. We'll get uh, some nether wart. The nether rack and the quartz and the glowstone. Matter of fact, just for aesthetics, I'll put that there. Not there, because that weird gap looks weird. Um, matter of fact, I will... No, I need some of the slabs, and I'll put the rest of the cobble there for the moment. Keep a stack of buttons with me. I'll put the lumber away. Okay. All right. Everything I have on me is more or less expendable, except for the golden boots. It's the only reason why the piglins haven't uh, assaulted me yet. Alright, let me go finish tearing down that island. I mean, honestly, if I just ran up there and put buttons down over everything, and ran away until they despawned and came back, they would be not there. Seriously, guys, how many of you am I going to find on my island? Because you all walk through there. Stop that. <laughs> oh, I meant to get bone meal for that. Ah, duck up. All right, you know what? There'll be more later. <laughs> Will there? Mm hmm. I mean. I know, I know my, statistically, my rolls are, are going to make somebody a very wonderful math paper. Um, because they are bad, but I mean, there are limits, aren't there? <laughs> you haven't found them yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And just so I know that that was the front and this is the back, we'll do this. Just so I remember which side is which. I know, th this is the ugliest iron. Uh -oh. Island. I'll get to making it pretty later. Hi, friend. I'm curious what's going to end up on the other side, though. <sighs> Tormenting me. Right there. What? Oh! Oh, hello, Ancient Debris. Let, let me go convert my... Uh, oh, that, that's not even half as much. Oh, yep. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So sorry for you, kid. Now i got to look at what the terraform radius is in the configuration, because I, I, I'm i wondering how far away some of these blocks will spawn so I can build a farming platform accordingly. Although, now that I think about it, that's one way to, one way to tunnel down, is you just kind of keep putting blocks down and breaking them until something <laughs> something falls down a little bit lower. I tried that. Uh... <laughs> is diamond what, what's the lowest tool you can use and still get uh, ancient debris ancient debris diamond is it diamond so I have to have yeah. diamond for that mm -hmm. 
the diamond tool that I just right. put away back in my island? Yep. Okay. Just checking. Then, uh, I, I let it stack up, and then I go in there and get it all at one time, and then let it stack up. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll put a button on. That. I'll put a button on that until uh, I get a chance to do something with it. Let's not stand that close to the edge, shall we? Oh, even better. Show me the quartz. Yeah, there we go. Alright, um... Well then. Do, do I have any of the guys that are going to be mad at me if I mine this gold? Like, or did they all run through the portal? I knew that feeling. <laughs> like, let me let, let me survey. Let me, let me read the room and check the crowd here. Uh. <laughs> Are you a living piggy? Are you a living piggy? Okay, gold's mine. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hello, ancient debris. All right, look, if I got two on my first little trip to the nether, then maybe maybe, maybe the odds are a little too high. Because I, I feel like, given my past performance, I, I should be struggling with these guys. I mean, all right, look, I, I'm actually not complaining. Because uh, I will absolutely use a bunch of it. Oh, Wow. And we dialed it back a little bit when we last convened, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just checking. I still get way more than I need. <laughs> I, I don't know about this more than I need business, but... Uh, I'm seriously thinking about building a... Oh, oh, no, no, no. I didn't do it to you. I didn't do it. You, you fell. You fell. Don't look at me like that. Hey, is that global anger thing still on? Like, if I hit one over here, do they get mad at you over there? Hey, I got a portal right up there, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even in the nether. I was just joking. Um, where were That's we not a joke. <laughs> Jokes are funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. That'd be tragic. <laughs> All right, let me just put up. Button in that for the I already moment. did that to medic for like <laughs> four days of AFK. So yeah, except uh, if I recall, you didn't intend to do it that time. No, I was AFK after I had made him mad, and <laughs> yeah, he had just because he was walking around in the Nether, he had kept all of them, you know, alive or spawned in and whatnot. So it just it stayed mad at us the whole weekend. Mm. <laughs> All right, gonna give me gravel. Good, because I'm gonna need to farm all the gravel I can to get at least one more flint. The nice thing is that the way we get it set up, uh, gra breaking gravel has a chance to give you more gravel. Mm-hmm. So, in the process of attempting to get flint, you'll get you sh well you should get more uh, more gravel. All right. Nobody's gonna get mad about me, right? No, <laughs> all that for three nuggets. What were you expecting? I mean, <laughs> I was hoping like for more, polluting. but well, don't don't forget, uh, my expectations are. We're set when this rolled out and we all had fortune and gear. <laughs> Fortunate gear? <laughs> uh, fortune gear. Oh, okay. I mean, it was <laughs> fortunate that we had fortune, but... Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm out of pickaxes. All right. Then let's just spawn-proof this anyway. And then, 
I'll come back and I won't have friends making me very, very nervous. <laughs> so you think? Yeah, good luck with that. Oh no. It's gonna happen. Uh, that's what I said. Well, I mean, I can't help what happens on other people's islands, but... You know, you go down there, you make everything out of glass and go, Ha ha, piglins, you can't spawn now. And then somebody goes, Here, hold my beer. Well, I mean, technically they can spawn on the nether portal frame, and there's not much I can do about that. Uh, but that is literally the only place that they can spawn. So let me go back and get my diamond pick. Let me get uh, the other picks... And then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Of course, what I need to do is I need to, I need to get, I need to get ender pearls. Uh, I'll stuff all this here for the time being. I'm going to need to bring that with me as well. Oh, so sorry, not sorry. What? You said that uh, you need to get Ender Pearls just as I was getting ready to click that. <laughs> uh, what that? It didn't come across. Uh, it didn't pop up in chat? No. No. It only does that when you do the first completion of a challenge. Gotcha. Uh, I was completing the Ender Pearl challenge. Ah. Uh. Hi, friend. No crossbow? Aw. You bum. I need to get some gold again so I can trade with him as soon as he pops over. I'll have to get a, uh, I'll have to get a decent mob farm going. Alright, I'll put that there. I'll take the bone meal with me, which was one of the things that I was forgetting. Storage will be down here eventually. Uh, yeah, because the only other thing that gives you a blaze rod is the nether fortress, and you need 512 nether brick, 64 nether brick slabs, 64 nether brick fence, 64 nether brick stairs, and 32 soul sand. Yikes. Yeah, but you have to be within 50 meters of it, so... What that tells yeah. me is they actually expect you to build that fortress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Actually, no. No, um, you just got to have it in the inventory. Oh, really? Yep. It's like that with uh, with any of the, the challenges. You just have to have them in your inventory. Uh, some of them actually have to be placed in the world. Like the first, the sugar, before you get to the farming sugar cane... Um, the first one, it actually has to be in the world planted near you. Same thing with the, uh, the homeowner. Yeah, because the stuff for the homeowner can't be in your inventory. It has to be placed in the world. I'm a farm. Yeah, there's a few of them. Not too many, but, though. Just a few enough to be frustrating now if we can get away with just having it in the inventory I'm <laughs> down with that but then again I don't know that you can fit all that in your inventory <laughs> uh how many how many stacks would that be that would be a few wouldn't it uh, yeah let me <laughs> I came up here for something what did I oh, Even oh, I need oh, to calculate I need... it for that one Two, four, six. Was it 512? Uh, yeah, 512 nether bricks. And then a stack of slabs, a stack of fence, a stack of stairs, and a half stack of soul sand. Oh yeah, that could all fit in your inventory. It's only 11 and a half stacks. <laughs> only 11 and a half stacks. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, I'm, I already have a double... No, I have a single chest full of uh, nether bricks, so... Uh, the constructed brick or the brick to make the bricks? Plural. Which irks me uh, to no end that they they it's separated out and worded like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, no, the, the bricks, the... The singular unit ones. Okay. Yeah. I, I I need... I hate that I have to say this. I need to go fishing so I can get some name tags. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how... <laughs> I was talking about that. Nether Fortresses did that, but... Uh, either that or I need to get a cleric... Or not a cleric, a librarian. Librarians will let you trade with them for... Uh, for name tags. Yep. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't have much luck with anything in fishing. Ah, there, okay. There's one glowstone underneath my platform. Yeah, I'll have to figure out maybe a double double wide platform. To, oh, I, doggone it! I forgot the I forgot the stupid diamond pickaxe. Oh, my absent mind. Where did I? There we go. Alright. One more time. With feeling. I guess I'm going to have to do something here. I think what I might do is... I might make a little trapdoor pit that the that whoever comes through spawning on the portal frame falls through. Just the one little piggy. This little piggy. And don't make noises like that. You'll start early person. I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that's underneath me right now. That I really wish I'd had access to, but... Come on, ancient debris. Oot! Hidden into the... Hidden in the depths. It wasn't hidden in the depths. It was right there. Alright, kid. You stay on that side while I'm mining so I don't accidentally hit you. <laughs> Go away, kid. You're bothering me. Doing surprisingly good on the uh, Nether Quartz front, which is a relief, because that that is one of the things that I know I'm going to need a lot of coming up soon. Because uh, I definitely need to make about seven to nine observers. Those are overrated. What observers? Observers. Nah. Yeah. You could you could find other ways of doing stuff. Oh, yeah, you can, but not in as small a space. 
And that's the part that matters right now. Alright, let's uh pick that up. Pick that up. Get a little more space because I think uh I forget how far out it goes. Cause if I bone meal that There we go, I got the shroom and some roots. Actually, that might be the trick. Is if I can get one of these to spawn in the right place and I'm, I can make a crimson root farm um, over here somewhere. Oh my, that is a hot mess of materials, isn't it? Huh. Well, that is the other thing I want to do, is to see how far up you can go. Alright, I'll do that in a little bit. Do these not spread, uh... Okay, I got one of each mushroom, and from that... I can make at least one of each tree. Ooh, yes. Twisting vines I can use to make something you can climb up and down. Which would be very nice. What is going on with him? What in the world? sitting here to watch me just sit there and aimlessly farm. Alright, eventually I'll get to the end of these blocks. I got 14 nuggets right now, and... Okay, good. I caught them. I also wonder, too, if the terraforming uh, picks a direction based on the direction you mined it. That would be kind of nice, too. for it, just not for it to be that hard to reach. Oh, 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 I saw an Enderman. <laughs> Did you look him in the eye? No, you said you needed uh, pearls. Yeah. I'll, I'll get a platform going and do something with that before too long. Stone dust. I'm finally starting to thin out the blocks here. Um, I'm not going to worry about those glowstone up top. Was that regular trees on Spawn Island in the Nether? Yeah. Yeah, it it, it uses uh, when you Skyblock generates the worlds, it has a Spawn Island template that it uses. 
So that is the literal default spawn island. Uh, what we have going is something that I customized before launch. Uh, yeah. So it, it is not 100% completely stock. Because we're special and we deserve something that's better than normal. That's right. Of course, I'm pretty sure if Ray asked Ron, she would affirm that we are indeed special. But there would be some tone to it that would imply other things. Would she be wrong? No. I'm pretty sure I can hear the tone without her being on. I see the look <laughs> already. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, no, the island is not cleared. <laughs> okay, now the island is cleared? Question mark. Hello, Strider. Actually, since I got the mushrooms, I can put a uh, warp fungus on a stick and uh, and ride the Striders. Very true. There's you gonna start singing it to Riders of the Storm. Where does this portal go? Is this gonna pop up a new No, it's gonna connect down here. Oh I'm gonna have to work out the math as to how far portals go in one direction or the other. Because I know if they're within a certain distance, it's going to link to an existing one. So in other words, if I disabled that one at the bottom of the world and then came back here, uh, right there under everything. Uh, let me get rid of the inventory full of stuff. Let me get rid of the important stuff out of my inventory. And see if I'm willing to actually try my luck. Alright, um. Wait. I thought I had a place with the soul sand and the soul. Uh, right there. Uh, right there, right on. <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead. Alright, and glowstone and quartz and gold. I like gold. Precious pickaxe in storage for them for the moment, and let's see if I can. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of another rack because that's got the most chance to create new blocks. Yeah, I, actually, I will take all this cobble with me. I'll be sad, but not that sad if I lose it all. I'll take a stack of netherrack with me. Leave placeholders for the ones to fill in later. Alright, let's see if I can make my way down with fewer deaths than medic. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Gold just, just so you know, though, all those deaths uh -huh. are also, also with me with a bunch of slow-falling potions. Yeah. 
I'd have to massacre some, uh... Uh... Phantoms. Well, that didn't work out as planned. Okay. Let's start making our way to some of the other stuff that away. Because the worst I could do is I can put a block here, but that's only going to get me up, not down. All right. Nothing nearby? Nothing nearby. You know, that's probably going to be very frustrating like that, so I'll put that there for the moment. I might come back to this one later. What I probably ought to do is take some more of the precious stuff back with me over... Probably I'll put some guardrails up too. But get some of the precious stuff over on my... S Where did you come from? The world yeah, told you but you're not supposed to spawn there there's a door there i told you <laughs> where did you come from i cannot tell you how many times <laughs> i have said that exact same thing but oh you, but you hi friend you can't spawn there <laughs> you, you can't spawn there oh uh Hang, hang on, little buddy. No, no, don't close the door. Don't close the door. I got a couple of gold bars for you. <laughs> hey, will you stop closing the door? Don't sound like a drug dealer at all. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Oh, you don't give me stuff, you little rat. Keep oh, my gold bar back. <laughs> Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> was it, oh, though? Here's an axe for you. Oh, that's, that's a wonderful <laughs> little one here. All right. All right. Uh... Oh. Didn't need to go through there just yet. <laughs> Except I probably got no wait no I don't think there was any anybody close enough to get that mad about it. All right, let's put the nuggets there for the you moment. Think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep the glowstone there because what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna start forming glowstone and breaking it because there's a pretty good chance of getting more glowstone that way. Uh, there's better odds of getting more glowstone than. Um, anything else but first and more importantly I'm gonna take some of this back over with me so it's not hanging out here in the nether although I probably should keep the diamond pick there in case I get more ancient debris uh, I'll get saddles for you guys <laughs> last season we were drowning in saddles we had more saddles than we needed to do with I was using them as um, non-stackable items for various far you know clocks and counters and stuff yeah uh, do you want me to give you some saddles <laughs> no for your for your clocks and whatnot because i don't know what to do with them well no because i'm not building any hopper clocks this go around come on now <laughs> all right um i just need a just for now because I'm going to need more nether work before too long. And I'll put some torches. Because I don't want extra friends. I just I just need some more nether work to grow. Uh, not a single pumpkin from you. Shame on you. Alright, I got the quartz to make a bunch of observers. 
I got the cobble to make a bunch of observers. I'm not sure if I got enough redstone to do that or not. Because it's what? Three, six cobble, a quartz, and two redstone dust per observer. Uh, all my supplies are scattered here, there, and yon. Maximum, how's it going? Hey, Axonim. How's it going? I am doing a little more absent-minded than normal. <laughs> but I finally got all the supplies for a trip to the nether. And as you would imagine, into the nether and through the nether to grandmother's house we go. Uh, no, we, we get little islands like that in the nether. Very precariously placed over lava, as far as the eye can see, or as far as the screen will render. Almost the same thing. I'm still kind of mad about stuff spawning on the doors. Yep, it's pretty, I, I tore down my island. Um, <laughs> we have the most incongruous spawn island in the middle of the nether. <laughs> but that is... How does Reyest have a chicken on her nether island? Don't ask questions, man. Well, I mean, if it was a chicken jockey, I'd get it, but then there would be a jockey on there, not just the chicken. Maybe you can't see the jockey. No, because I, I wouldn't be able to see the chicken either. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> the question is, what came first, the chicken or the jockey? Uh, ha, 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 ha. How long did it take you to jockey in a position for that one? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop right now because I'm starting to chicken out. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to egg you on. Oh, man, you got yolks. <laughs> oh, yeah. They shall continue. <laughs> you win. Oh, <laughs> man. Wow, that, that, that finished quicker than I was expecting. Come on. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, I wasn't. <laughs> All right. All right. Um. Hmm. Well, now that I killed all the spawnable spots, I, I'm not going to get any more of the uh, the the Biglin traders, which was. Do you really want them? I mean, well, now now that I got two, now that like, I got two gold ingots, uh, I would I would actually like to have at least one of them. Of course, with my luck, it'd probably give me string or some useless, like. Oh, you mean like the two, first time I traded with them and I got leather? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably just going to give me like two iron nuggets to go here. Don't use it all in one spot. Oh, trust me. I would have loved Jerk. to have gotten string from them on my first one. Remember, that was when I was having a hard time with string. Yeah. Although now that I got the magma blocks, I might be able to do some stuff with that. Uh, oh, I need three, six. I need more soul soil. Um, hmm. Let's go over here where there's more room and I can put the soul soil in a spot that uh, it might generate more or at least at more reachable because that irks me to know that there are resources right under the bridge and there's nothing you can do about it. That is why I started doing my uh, resource gathering mm -hmm. at at the uh, lava level. So, oh, it, you know, at least it all either burns up or I know I can't get it without dying. That doesn't bother me no more. That's fair. That's why I do it at the roof. Because either I can get it or I don't see it. No, but then stuff spawns on the roof. I don't see it. 
uh, you will when you're trying to get a mob farm going. Or, you know, if anybody else on the server is trying to get a mob farm going. <laughs> and that has stopped him. Yeah, I know. I know. Ow. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, that's right, because you need to use a tool of some sort, and that's what triggers the generation, no? Because I don't think it actually gives you a chance to generate stuff if you break it by hand. Yeah, I think this is going to be my life for a little while. Just dropping blocks and hoping for more. Hmm. Actually, if I can get one more gold ingot, I can... I can go ahead and make a gold pickaxe. Because the way the way you skyblock is set up, uh, there's a weight for the like the likelihood of getting a, a different block, and gold tools have a higher weight, so they're more likely to generate blocks than anything else. I think stone has the next highest weight, but I'd have to actually uh, go back into the config file and look. Anything up there? No? Okay. And I'm doing the soul sand because I need soul sand and soul soil. Um, actually, I need more soul soil than I do soul sand. Because I need at least nine soul soil although for the uh for the soul campfires i'm trying to remember can you so uh, never mind it's a moot point i got nine although for my own edification i'll probably go check and see because i'm trying to remember if uh the i know for the blue torches the soul torches you can use soul sand or soul soil and yes I just can't remember if it works that way for the campfires as well. Yes. Yes, it does work that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Either one. Because I, I knew that there was something that you crafted that required soul soil specifically, but I just don't remember what. I don't know, but I've made uh, campfires. So. Yeah, with soul sand or soul soil? Both. I wanted to see if the interior looked different. Oh. What, if the... Oh, 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 the bit under the fire? No, it doesn't. Yeah. I wish. Because I also made one regular to see if it looked different. It didn't. Uh, yeah. I was kind of disappointed. Vanilla, Tweak, <laughs> Vanilla Tweaks has a texture pack that makes the ash in the fire look different for the soul campfires than for the regular campfires. So that way the ash actually looks like soul soil or soul sand. It's got that more brownish texture to it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even looking for anything that drastic. I just, I was hoping that there'd be a little difference. But I did find out that it's got just enough of a blue tint to it mm -hmm. that I could sub it in for, uh, well, not sub it in, but I used it on my bridge over the water I have. Mm -hmm. And it actually, from the top looking down while you're walking over the bridge, looks as if you are legitimately 
looking down into the water, even though you're staring at the ball. Oh, itself. because of the tinting. Yeah. I mean, you can still see the water underneath as well, so it's just... It, you know, it, it does a really good job of uh, masking what you're actually looking at. I don't know. I thought it was yeah. a neat little discovery. That is neat. Let me go make up nine, nine soul campfires and actually everything I need is going to be on the island. Actually, I haven't slept in a while. Let me do that first. That seems smart. There we go. Well, that is looking like a proper uh, cactus farm there, good sir. Oh, well, thank you. Are you two looking for ridiculous amounts of cacti? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Are you two looking for... Well, I mean, did you see how much that that produced? I mean, let let me go, let me go show you again cuz Matter of fact, uh, just to rub it in, I probably ought to go click the sign a couple of times cuz I'm pretty sure I could get about 6 or 7 uh quest or challenge turn-ins without even having to worry about the cooldown. <laughs> And actually, I am kind of legit worried about overflow because I only got the one box there. Like, I I am deeply tempted to knock that out and put a second one in here just for... Just look at that. That's just since Friday. How much? I didn't see. 9, 18 stacks, 20 stacks, Ooh. and... 20 stacks and 39 more. Yeah, that's uh, that's better than my current one. My current one has four plants in it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just got 36 sand out of that. Okay. Of course, I got a size a little bit on a cacti in there too, because that that's a little bit bigger than a chunk. It's a twenty-one by twenty-one farm, or the walls are twenty-one by twenty-one apart. Yeah, I didn't even count my walls out. Well, I, I knew I knew that if I did it. At that size, I could put holes in particular places and I wouldn't have to worry about uh, raising the cacti one block above the water stream. Uh, by having four 9x9 nine nine areas, I could put a water in the corner of each 9x9 nine nine, and it would reach that hole there and there would still be the channels down the separating them out and that way I keep it a little bit shorter because the original plan was to make uh, three or four layers of that and again I'm basing this off of a video I saw on Shulkercraft so credit where credit's due And I need to get the sign up for the Il Mango video. That's not his, de or not Il Mango, Nembomb. Uh, that's not his design per se, but it is uh, greatly inspired by the video where he explained how slimes spawn, how they move, uh, the fact that they're literally 
one step above armor stands in terms of intelligence and capabilities. Which, yeah. Uh, I don't know. My armor stands seem to have some pretty good intelligence. <laughs> uh, but now that I got the soul soil, I'm going to replace those campfires with the soul campfires. But first. I need to get enough iron to make uh, three more hoppers because I'm also going to raise this up one and double the storage. While that's a lot of hoppers for one farm, this isn't really one farm anymore. It's the mob farm and the slime farm. And my plan is to set it up so that way the iron farm dumps the iron golems into the same killing chamber or at least that's my thought currently I, I may I may go back and change that just because I do oh I don't want to fall off the wall uh, but I do want to uh, set it up so that way the iron farm has an auto off once the once the uh, once the farm storage gets full uh, I'm thinking of trying to rig it up so that way once the farm storage gets full, it pops a trapdoor blocking view of the zombie to basically turn the farm off so you don't have to worry about overflow and that kind of thing and all the trouble that that can cause. That's the thought anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll see, you know. We'll, we'll see how it all matches up if it does. Because sometimes intentions and turnout don't match. Alright. Let's, uh... Grab my last bit of leather. I'll grab some sticks and... Ooh, I need to get back to tree farming too. I'm starting to run a little low on spruce. Oh, I still got a little bit of oak and acacia, but I don't have too much of everything else. Alright, um, do I need 10? No, I don't need 10. I just need 9. Put those way there. Uh, I wish again that I had more storage. Soul sand, soul soil. I'll put the spruce away. Uh, huh. What was I looking for? Ah. 17, that'd be 20, 34. Because it's two redstone per observer. And let me get some observers going. Oh, yeah. Those guys are going to come in handy real soon. I'll set them aside for the moment. I'll put away some of the cobble. Because what I really need to do is I need to lean into this some more to get more iron and gold. And uh, and then and then I can do a little bit more uh, more nether work, nether farming and such. That's not too bad though. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the clay as well. Oh, cook it in terracotta and use it as a building material. Yeah.
Yeah, I might, I might do that. Uh, well, I, I'm probably going to keep some handy for glazed terracotta. Because I know for some of the redstone stuff I want to do, I, I'm going to need blocks that don't get moved by slime. My long-ish term plan is to create a mob farm in the nether. Um, that'll have a nether brick floor, because that's what it takes to spawn them. And you've already confirmed that you need the full nether brick blocks, not top slabs. Mm, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and so I'm going to get a big spawning floor and then set up a slime block flying machine to sweep the mobs towards the killing chambers. And then, uh, and then go from there. Sounds like a plan. That's the idea. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I really need to do right this second. Although I think I might go poke around in the nether a little bit more. It's a wonderful place to visit. Although, I could spend a little more time at least farming what I can out of there. It, again, it irks me so much that those spiders are causing as much trouble as they're causing. Um, yeah. Ooh. That does raise a problem, doesn't it? Uh, because I'm going to need iron for buckets for what I want to do as well. So yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get the, uh, some iron stuff going. But I guess primarily I need a hostile spawning platform. Uh, something that's going to get me some endermen. Alright, um... came here to poke around at something in particular, something specific. I was going to... what? Go quietly mad? Yeah, there's nothing quiet about what's happening here. Jebba's about to get fed. Nothing quiet about that either. <laughs> yep, I heard it. I, I, I do need to upgrade my... Uh, audio set up so that way uh, you don't run into quite as much of that. Oh, that's right. That's what I forgot to do. I was going to see how far up you could build and, uh, and get a ladder going up to the top of the world. Similar to, uh, to what I got set up in the overworld. I'll set a ladder up here in the center of the universe and go up. But I think for that, what I want to do is I'm going to want to... Yeah, I'm going to make a bunch of trapdoors. So I'm going to have to get to harvesting some spruce trees. And do the spruce trapdoor and ladder thing like I did in the overworld island. And do that here um, in the center. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Kind of wish Reyes was in chat. Ikea made the news. It's her favorite place. Their uh, IKEA Canada launched a series of PDFs for upcycling your various furniture, and I. So, in other words, you you, you got one of the IKEA bookshelves, and it's kind of hit end of life. It's projects you can use. That, that you can convert the bookshelf uh, to something else. Yeah, 
and some of the, some of them are kind of neat. Some of them are kind of uh, seriously, you, you know. <laughs> so somebody seriously thought this was a good idea. Although I still love that Tom's answer was, "Well, those Billy bookshelves aren't gonna, you know." Oh no, sorry, those Billy bookshelves aren't getting any younger. And he points out that his IKEA bookshelves lasted him three moves. And they look pretty good so long as you don't look at the top of them. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I misread the code and, and the percentages and whatnot. Because this definitely feels different than I was expecting. I mean, I'm not complaining. Because I was just mentioning earlier that I am going to need gold. Matter of fact, I'm going to need gold not just for trading with the uh, piglins, but... I guess I can't eat the netherrack if I'm hungry. Um, not just for trading with the big ones, but also for making golden apples, which I will need more than a few of. Because uh, that's going to be important for trading. Or for uh, curing the zombie villagers. So maybe... maybe Maybe I shouldn't focus too much on... How did you... In the doorway? Is it because it's technically considered open? I mean... I don't... Technically need the doors anymore. I wonder if I put two fence gates, if that would give me the same... <laughs> the same trouble. Uh, I need... More sticks. Let's try this again. All right, there's our four of those, and I'll put uh, I'll put those there for the moment. And craft up a couple more ingots. That should still block field of view. And keep them from coming through in either case. Alright. Let's see if they spawn there now. If I can get a fire resist potion, I could probably take my bucket of lava from the overworld and ride the bucket of lava down as if it were a water stream. Might have to try that too. But not today, because I need I need to make a spawning platform for the the piglins. And as much as I don't like building a farm to tear it down to build another farm, I may have to go the build a basic platform. But first and foremost, uh, between now and next week, I'm going to have to see if I can get on the nether roof and where the uh, where the world parameters for your island are. That still puzzles me. I, I could have sworn I enabled another roof access. Hmm. 
there's the magma cubes. I, in here I was worried I wasn't going to get enough of them. Although this is after we, we goosed the uh, production rates. Maybe we goosed them a little too much. Oh my. That's precarious. Yeah, and I definitely need to look into how far away these things uh, generate. I thought it was only I thought it was an adjacent block not you know, that far away two as far as I can tell well some of these seem to be going as far as five mm. you jerk bad. I'm ending up with more netherrack than I had before, which is good. That was one of the objectives. Because I think I might... Uh, actually, I wonder. I wonder if I can build... start building the killing chamber in a small platform. Um, one of the... One of the challenges gives you turtle eggs. But I don't think it's any one I have access to right now. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Uh, deep sea fishing will get me a turtle. So I'll have to see how many... Uh, I thought there was another one that got you a turtle. Or maybe you got to do the deep sea fishing twice. Yeah, it might be that. Because if I can... Uh, basically, the end goal is if I can get my hands on some turtle eggs. Yeah, just one turtle. Uh, one of the other ones gives you a sheep. Singular. Uh, so you need to complete the challenge twice if you want two sheep to breed. Or build a passive mob farm. Which is slightly busted at the moment. Because... Uh, the the person in charge of the project neglected to mention the need for a permissions provider or how to set that up. So I'm talking to him. And uh, the fact that he's working out of Portugal makes uh, communication a little difficult. Um, because we have, in addition to the language barrier, uh, a vast, vast time zone difference. <laughs> It's actually kind of frustrating how, how how big a difference that is and, and the difference it makes. I mean, I guess technically I could even use the uh, the magma blocks. Oh, all right. I'll do one other thing just for kicks, and then and then I'll probably call it a night. Um, I go back to the main, the main part of my island. Gonna have to spend some quality time farming spruce. Let me grab the brick. And... get to my home away from home. Oh, wrong way. I'm getting lost on my own island and there isn't that much put up yet. 
what am I going to do when I actually get, like, you know, a bunch of island together? Make color-coded paths. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Are you headed for the farms? Take the granite path. Uh huh. Okay, Rias. What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I expect her island to be color coded. <laughs> and? What? You you don't expect mine? No, not really. I. I expect by the end of the season, your island to be just one giant geodome. Where you stand in the dead center and it activates every, <laughs> you know, mob farm and other farm that you own, and it all funnels into one ginormous sorting system. Uh, no, no. And that if we didn't have a hopper limit, that would have that would have been a thing. But because we have the hopper limit, I can't do that. You'll find a way. I know you. No. You will fuss and fight over it until you figure out a way to do it with like three pieces of string and 40 buckets of water. I don't know what you'll do, but you'll find a way. No, unfortunately there's no way to do a sorting system without a bunch of hoppers. Full stop. Which is sad, because yeah, I'd love to do that. You have no idea how much I'd love to do that. Because then I could figure, calculate I, the exact center of the island and then math out every farm, putting stuff like that that don't require you to be that close by, you know, over at the perimeter and put those guys a little bit closer. Yeah, I, I, if I could have done it so there, everything went into a central storage station, that slime farm would have been in this double chunk here. And that chunk next to it. And I would have put the slime farm storage in between the two. So that way I would have had not just the rates of that, but half over again from the uh, the other chunk next to it. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> season three season three when, when we're back in vanilla play then i will make a giant you know land death star where you stand in the middle and everything within the sphere you don't feel Actually, like that's not a I bad know what idea you're doing next season what you're just being a dwarf next diggy, season diggy, I don't want diggy, to hear it. diggy diggy hole you, you, you really yeah. gotta <laughs> We know your game. We're on to you. <laughs> diggy diggy hole. <laughs> I thought I had. Uh... I know I had somewhere to store those. Yeah, storage. You know what? That 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 is that is top top priority for uh, for next week. Storage. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll move this down there. I'll move the tree stuff down there. All my all my ferni down there. Uh, I might spend enough time at the mob farm to get enough string to make some carpet. Um, in season zero, I played with some duplication fun. In season one, just to see if I could, I abstained from all glitchy type stuff. So no weird stuff with slime blocks duplicating rails and carpet and stuff like that. Uh, Skyblock, I will try to find that happy middle ground where I'm not going too crazy in... You know, the abuse of, uh, well, there's nothing stopping you from doing it, but still taking advantage of some of the duplication glitches. Because what I'm thinking of doing is, if I can do it with minimal enough hoppers, uh, setting up a 
furnace array uh, that can be fueled with a carpet duplicator. But I got to see how much how many carpet it generates at any given point in time, and just how many furnaces it can fuel. Uh, that is something that I built back in season zero, but. The version that I built in Season 0 was not as good as some of the other ones I've seen floating around. And so I'm curious to see just how good that kind of farm can get. Because I, I, I suspect I might be, instead of the four furnaces that I had before, I might be able to get more than that, more than that going. Although... Now that I think about it, I don't want too many furnaces because that the more furnaces I add, the more hoppers I need to make uh, to make that happen. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. All right. Well, while I get the video uploading, I'm actually going to turn this on. I'm going to grumble words off stream uh, <laughs> about the spiders clogging up the stupid system. And I'll leave this in AFK mode until I'm ready to do some more harvesting. Because I need string and I need spider eyes. Because I'm going to need spider eyes for the potions of weakness that will that I'll need to get the villagers. And then what I will probably do... Uh, is set up a temporary platform down there somewhere uh, probably in a corner where there's no slime uh yeah yeah I, I thought I thought I'd set it up so that way the water would push them down and they're still they're still getting stuck in the corners honestly I'm ready to get a bunch of cactus and sand and set them in where the spiders ten, tend to congregate so the spiders will climb into the cacti and die and then uh and then and then drop their stuff <laughs> but uh what I'll probably do is set up a uh set up a little dark room and then just keep running back and forth spawning stuff until I can get two oh there's a spider uh until i can get two zombie villagers and then i'll just find a place to park them until i can get the rest of the materials needed to <laughs> that is kind of fun to watch uh until i can get the rest of the materials i need to uh to cure them and then i can start getting the villager trading stuff going uh because i i forgot that you need eight gold bars. For some reason, I thought it was just a plus sign of gold with an apple in the middle. No, you gotta surround that joker. Villagers are expensive, man. Oh, let me uh, stand under something, too. So the uh, phantoms don't get ideas. All right. So let's head over to the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Sorry about the late start. Things have been things have been more than marginally crazy here lately. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that should be hopefully that should be changing in the very near future, and I can kind of get things back under control, whatever that means. Uh, in the meantime, stream Coffee Craft on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And Arcadius and Exmetic Frog uh, stream before me. So Arcadius is usually about 1-ish uh, earlier if he can. And then Exmetic Frog is usually around 3, 3.30-ish. And so we just kind of jump from uh, one stream to another to another. And uh, I also stream on Fridays. Normally it's Games Revisited. I'm currently going through The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. I've had a couple of weeks now where, because life, I've not been able to. 
Um, just not in the right headspace to do that. So the schedule's been a little off. I will stream Fridays at 6.30. Um, I just, for the moment, can't promise that it's always going to be Games Revisited. But it will be something. Uh, if it's not Games Revisited, it's most likely going to be Coffee Craft. Or if I can't manage that, uh, I'll just go, uh, I'll, I'll go die horribly in Battlefield Five and hit the wrong key and bludgeon the people I'm trying to save with a hammer or something. If you were there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so now we're going to go... Uh... See, I hate when I have these choices. Like, I, 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 I love it when I go click Raid Channel and it gives me just one of the people I'd love to send an audience to. I, I hate when I do that and it shows me multiple people uh, because I love Grimly and I love Beast Lord J. And now I got to pick between which one of the two I send you all to. So I'm going to send you all to Beast Lord. Uh, he is currently playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, which looks like a very interesting game. So uh, I'm going to hit the title card, stick around for the raid, and I'll see you next time.